No, I mean like uh, yesterday. Oh, really? Like, like NASA, either today or yesterday, NASA made this announcement. Kind of like, you know, like a, week, a couple weeks ago, they were like, we're going to make this huge announcement tomorrow, and it was, there's probably water on Mars. And now they're like, uh, we're going to make a big announcement tomorrow, and then the next day it's like, yeah, we're going to put people on Mars. It's like, okay, NASA. <laughs> I am NASA. Let's see if I can Where's the International Space Station? It's in orbit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's in uh, space. How it's big is it? To, uh, it's about the size of a average pizzeria. I don't know. What the fuck? You know, pizzeria, right? Oh man. Go straight home, or did you want to swing by my house? Yeah, you your place. I'm down unless you're too tired. You want to take a nap or something? That's cool. No, I'm okay. Cause, well, because you said you wanted to be home like around four. Mm. So yeah, I'm, as long as I'm home before six or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so we'll go there, hang out a little bit, and then I'll bring it home. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like What's Liz up to tonight? She Today's has, Tuesday. Yeah, she has a uh, tiger idol in school after class. Yeah, after school for club kind of thing. Yeah, so NBC News, one day ago, NASA unveils three-part plan to reach Mars by 2030. Wants to put people on Mars by 2030. In 15 years? I don't know. Seems realistic. Seems like they could do it. But, yeah. They'll be the Martians, man. People who have children there, the children that are born there will be Martians. They will not be Earth ones. I mean, they'll be racially human. Of the planet Earth, that would be their heritage, but they will have been born on Mars. That's how we're going to have a big Earth Mars war. We're going to keep repeating this Earth Mars war every you know, however many billion, billion years. Like, what happens is humans come to the forefront on Earth, and then we decide to go to Mars, and then we go to war with Mars, and we blow each other up, and then the animals just like go back to being the rulers of the Earth, and then after a little while, it happens again. Mars now. That's actually like the well, that's not exactly what the Indians believe, but um, the Vedic texts of it, um, had like these stories, these like uh, historical stories about atom bombs being dropped on cities and stuff like that, flying machines and things. Sounds great here. Supposed high technology in historical times. And there are certain areas that when, when, you know, people go to them and look at them, they're like, there's evidence that there was a n- nuclear explosion here. You know, there's like a certain distance down underneath all the soil and dirt or whatever's there, there's like a layer of glass. And they're like, why would there be a layer of glass this far down here? Like, well, maybe there's a big, big explosion. You know, that would make all the views glass. Yeah. Sounds hoaxy. Atlantis. Yeah, that's what, that's what happened to Atlantis. Somebody put a toilet in the middle of it, and they didn't realize that plumbing was going straight out of the aisle and it exploded. And when they flushed it, it brought up water and sunk the whole island. First time someone ever flushed a toilet there. They're like, whoops, my bad. Sorry, Atlantis. I built it over the weekend. Where's the myth of Atlantis come from? I think it's Greek or you know from that general. Vicinity. I mean, there are a lot of different cultures that have um, myths about lost places, lost mountains, lost lakes, and things like that. Things that just got swallowed up by the earth. The earth will eat stuff. Yep, it don't care. That's what it does. We are at the mercy of our planet. Even though we think we're like top dog on the thing, like. All of a sudden, the planet 
it starts doing what it's supposed to do. And we're like, oh no, you're going to erode our whole, our whole coast is eroding. It's like, that's what I do. Why did you build here? Stupid. Should have built inwards. You told us that you're stupid. Notice this. Oh, well. Real. Like when you build, you best know what's going on in that area. Like, hey, how far above or below sea level are we? Below yeah, right. below sea level? Hmm. It's probably not being near where hurricanes go. Or hey, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I live somewhere that every fifteen to twenty years there's a flood and all kinds of stuff gets moved. Wow. How do you do that? You should probably move. New Orleans. It's also historically flooding. Yep. So. Yeah, it's happened more than once, my friends. So. Come on, look, free car wash. Whee! Free swing side! Right. Of the car wash? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a line from UHF where Stanley Spivsky is talking to the audience and goes, hey kids. He's got the cereal, this box of cereal. He's like, oh look, free toy inside, free toy inside. Don't let your mom know that you do this. And he shoves his arm down to the bottom of the cereal box and pulls it out as a parachute man. Like he just says, like, oh, you know, yeah. holds him by the string and he spins him around. He's like, hey, you want to go for a ride? No, I don't want to go for a ride. Here you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. He spins this guy around. Oh my god. I don't feel so bad. Say, oh, this watermelon tastes pretty good. And then he just stares at the watermelon and makes a face and he goes, it actually tastes like food. <laughs> what? Tastes like food. Probably the greatest movie of all time, clearly. Anyway. What movie? Weird Al Yankovic's new HF. <laughs> yup, it's a story about him as this character. Um, I forget his character's name. Stay back 100,000 feet. One bajillion feet. One parsec. Don't push me. <laughs> You're just adding things to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't get out from around him. Hey, T1 Flats Burrito Company. No one ever calls you that. Thank you for calling the T1 Flats Burrito Company. My name is Burrito Bandito. <laughs> they call me um, Mr. Grabby. Come on down. You're like, uh, no thanks. How am I you taste, Did you tweet that donut? Tweet what donut? Picture of your donut. I did. Okay, good. Yeah, I tweeted that earlier. I got a favorite, I think. Yep. I'm gonna tweet it. One, two, three. I favorited two, something three. and then I retweeted it and it took my favorite away. You can't do both, I guess. Oh, no, you can totally do both. You can't um, retweet and also quote retweet. You can only do one of the two retweets, but I can totally do both. Maybe you just press the button again accidentally. I wasn't there, I'm just you know, consulting the detective on this case. This was so crazy last night. She's trying to do something and she's like, this document won't save. And then he does this and like, he'll just put, sometimes he'll put like dirty forks away. Like the dishwasher didn't get it all clean. You see that girl's neck? She had that big lipstick kiss tattoo on her neck. Stupid. And her hair up. She's looking kind of WT there. Sorry, girl. I ain't trying to be judgmental, but you're buying into some kind of image there, right? <laughs> Get your Wranglers, your acid washed jeans, and your tank top. And look at these guys, these Mormons. They're gonna come to blows? <laughs> Stand there and scoop. Have a referee shirt in the back of the car at all times. So just throw it on. Run. Go! Yeah, right. Keep it clean, guys! Get a handshake out of you two? Corey likes Mormons. That they're interesting and he likes to wave at them. Is it like Dutch people? I don't know. Have you ever heard of 
in that Dutch town now. Good old Dutch town with all that pie. Get you some pie, some dry mon citrus. Dry mon. Dry mon. Dry mon. I'm a vampire from Jamaica. <laughs> what? <laughs> dry mon the vampire from Jamaica. Blah. Blah, clah. Every time I drive past that house, I, like, I'm always so intrigued. We've been in that house twice. Two different people from the same company called us within, like, four months of each other to come and take a look at this place. The first time was to take a look at their breaker panel and make sure everything looked squared away. And then it looked fine to us, but they were like, nah, nah, the bank wants the panel changed. And my dad's like, well, here's how much it's going to cost. And they're like, well, can you give us some more details and some photos? Maybe walk around the place for us. And my dad's like, if you wanted me to do your work, I could surely send you a bill. But I'm not coming in here to tell you what you need done. That's what you get an inspector for. Mm -hmm. and then you call me and tell me what to do. Otherwise, I'm doing work by identifying what your problems are. I mean, you don't have a plumber come in and tell you what's going on and then say, okay, well, thanks. So much on COVID. And I'm going to do what's this one. <laughs> son. <laughs> Super sneaky. Going around. Banana man. Yeah, yeah. Does this case fit okay and everything like that? Yeah, case is fine. But more or less, yeah, it's the same color. Yeah. That's good. Nice, really. Yeah, I was really happy with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a point. Yeah, you have a four right now? Four, yes. That's uh, like a year old or so? You're two, two years old. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. At least two. That's still pretty sturdy. That's good. Yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm pleased also with the size of the screen. Mm -hmm. Because for a while there, that's one of the things I wasn't into about the iPhone is that the screen was so small compared to the screen of a, like any Android phone, really. Yeah. And I was like, well, why would I pay to get a smaller screen? Uh, I'll just get something that's better looking and well, then they slam down and now the pretty crazy. yeah the design of them now has is like that same kind of slim as my galaxy mm -hmm. which was great i loved the slimness of was it. your was your galaxy a unibody construction like could you open it to replace a battery yes oh you could okay so well that's the thing i mean one of the benefits of it, it comes with benefits and uh negatives the unibody construction meaning that you can't open it without yeah the way iphones are yeah yeah, so they're actually sturdy. You know, they feel the build quality in your hand is like really nice. So that's good. But of course, they're fragile as hell. You know, like it's all glass panel. It's like, well, I mean, the back of this new one isn't, but so we'll buy it for us and whatnot. What up, window cat? <laughs> she like never left the window. <laughs> the whole time. Two hours later.